What is a biosensor and what connection does that has to do with it? A biosensor is a device that measures how much of a biological substance is present. We probably all know someone that suffers from diabetes. There was a time where they needed to pause their day-to-day -day tasks to get a blood test to check their sugar levels. Thanks to biosensors, that's no longer the case. Biosensors let diabetes patients check their sugar levels at any time to avoid life-threatening situations. Biosensors can also be used to detect heart diseases and cancer at early stages, which can allow early treatment, increasing the survival rates. This is done by detecting a certain biological substance that shows the presence of such diseases. Something really cool about our bodies is that it has an immune system, which works to attack anything that comes in from the outside world. Unfortunately, this is problematic for biosensors because our immune systems can damage them, affecting their measuring capabilities. And that's where polymers come in to save the day. Polymers are very big molecules made up of smaller molecules connected together. Look around you. Polymers are everywhere. Your plastic water bottle, the silicon tips on your AirPod, Pro of course, and even the proteins inside your body. They are all made of polymers. Polymers are very versatile because small modifications to them can cause a lot of different outcomes that can be used for many applications. Now imagine your favorite candy. We all know that this candy needs a wrapper to protect it from the environment until it's time for you to enjoy it. That's the job of the polymer to the biosensor. Polymers act as the wrappers to the biosensors to protect it from the environment in the body and make sure that the immune system does not attack it. Now, the trick is to find the perfect type of polymer that can do this while not affecting the function of the biosensor. Let's outline some key properties to help us find the perfect polymer. The polymer must have good electrical properties since biosensors are mostly made up of electrical components. It also must be unreactive so it doesn't get in the way of the biosensor interacting with the molecule. And finally, it must be safe to put in our bodies. There are many polymers that have these properties. One example is cellulose acetate, which blocks most of substances from getting through to protect the biosensor. Another example is polyethylene glycol, or PEG, which attracts water to make the body conditions and prevent it from attacking the biosensor. Without the use of polymers and their unique ability, biosensors would have no defense against their immune systems. Diabetes patients would not be able to check their sugar levels at their own convenience, and all future hopes for using biosensors to provide an early diagnosis for heart diseases and cancer would be lost.